Howdy y'all, welcome back to another episode of the Modded of Minecraft. Uh, got some updates, got some updates, uh, added in a couple new mods. Uh, DecoCraft, that's where this uh, cannon is from right here. Uh, just seemed like this needed just some, some stuff and to kind of round out a, a fork kind of look. So we got uh, the cannon, that's one of the items, and then of course over here we have a cart, cart number one, and then we have a wheelbarrow coal. Um, I think there's an option, you see kind of how it's outlined, I think there's an option in there to kind of turn that off, uh, turn off that edge outline, I don't really like that look. Um, the other one that I added is uh, progressive automation, and the reason I added that was for... Uh, magical crops because uh magical crops will not auto plant with the batania uh uh, uh <laughs> dispenser tweaks uh now batania what it'll it'll do with regular crops is a dispenser will actually plant uh the crop right in front of it so if we say we took uh let's just find some cheap stuff stone here um, so if we took a dispenser and put it right here and fired it off uh, if this was tilled soil it would actually plant the crop right here uh, it won't do that with magic crops on regular soil or on the ouch or on the uh, fertilized dirt but with progressive automation uh, it used to it still does but uh, unfortunately it doesn't work anymore uh, I don't know if it's just the way that it's worked but uh, progressive automation will plant the seeds on the uh, fertilized dirt. The downside is uh, progressive automation does not it see like right now. Okay, let's say right now we come over here and we we uh, pick up these crops. And I hate the way these damn crops work. They're they're so annoying. Sometimes if you double click them, then they come out. But so if I come over here and I I do that, okay, I get some seeds and I get my essences now if I do it with progressive automation uh, you get the essences but you do not get the seeds back so you lose pretty much your your seeds from doing this and so far that's been true with uh, Batania with the uh, I tried the horn of the wild to uh, auto kind of harvest these no that you do the same thing you lose the seeds if you use the uh, growth or harvest goddess band you lose the seeds um, the only way I found so far to uh, kind of auto harvest you lose the seeds um, and then of course the only way to auto plant is with so far is with the uh, progressive automation so I'm really kind of starting to hate this mod <laughs> Because it really isn't doing me any major good. Uh, nothing, I mean, uh, this little terror steel right here, yes, this is probably early game. Much nicer than, um, than say, uh, without it, you know. Because, I mean, it does give us terror steel pretty early on, uh, which is nice. But, uh... I don't like that, I think MFR will do it, I'm not for certain, but uh, I don't even know how, if there's a mod out there that will actually uh, auto harvest and uh, keep the seeds. So that's, that is just a little frustrating. If anybody knows how in this mod you can auto plant and auto harvest, uh, you know, leave me a comment, shoot me a comment down there and let me know because uh, it's really starting to kind of frustrate me. I, I hate being beaten by a mod, but I've tried a bunch of stuff uh, and it just doesn't work. Now, I did try to download a, a mod called, uh, I think it's Crafting Herald, Heraldry. Uh, it's by Vasky. It's actually the same guy that makes Batania and it's discontinued. Uh, he's not, he's not doing it anymore so i did not down download and install that one i just left it alone but deco craft is kind of cool it's uh pretty much just a, a decorative sort of thing it's not really Th there are a couple of useful items in there i guess uh the chairs you can actually sit in 
which is nice. Uh, but I mean, like this doesn't actually store anything. I think the barrels do. They uh, have a kind of a weird storage thing. So I mean, these are, you know, fairly cheap. It's uh, it's uh, what's what's whatever I'm looking for. It's not it's not fairly cheap. Actually, it's not cheap at all because it requires clay, a lot of clay, and then uh, lapis green dye and then red dye blue green red so basically you it's a it's like a 3d printer sort of a thing and then you you can you got to make this deco bench first can't do anything without the deco bench it's the first thing you have to make and then uh everything will be listed in here and it'll gray out if you're uh unable to make it a little drink there um some neat stuff in here some non useful stuff but i guess you know it's it's just a bunch of decorative stuff but i would like to see more kind of like medieval stuff there there's actually a lot of stuff in here that is um not um if that makes any sense you know just like swing sets and presents and uh these signs which i don't really need but there's a lot of stuff to kind of like fill out your uh like if you wanted to do like a uh, alchemy sort of thing. So that it's just, it's a decorative sort of thing that you can add uh, just little touches to your, um, to your world, to your, to your builds to kind of, uh... now they do have drawbridges or hanging drawbridges. I haven't messed with those yet, but maybe down the road, maybe I'll replace my bridge over there with that. Um, what is this? Fish trophy. There's a bunch of trophies in here. Chains and ropes, which are cool. Different beds, um, different chairs. Uh, you can actually make a shower, uh, you know, a full kitchen. Uh, I guess it's just really up to your imagination how you can add to this. But it just adds little things that you, an aquarium. Like you couldn't, you couldn't make an aquarium that size. You'd have to make a giant <laughs> one. And uh, have a mod in there that actually had fish probably. Then the wheelbarrows, cannons uh skeletons gravestones that sort of thing uh so it does have some useful items and then others are just really like i think all these will actually be like kind of storage water pump oh shoot i may need that let me put that in around here somewhere but that's the other one i added um now i've been doing a couple of other things um one is i uh Ouch, I hate those things. One thing I did was I uh, went ahead and upgraded the um, the mana we're producing over here. You can see upstairs we have the uh, three of the uh, the Kikamura stations. Um, I have an on-off switch. Like right now, I don't need those timers running, so I can turn them off. Uh, we have a signal. That shouldn't be clicking. Why are you clicking? Who's clicking? Why are you clicking? Why are you clicking? Huh. You shouldn't be clicking. None of you guys should be clicking. Why is only that guy clicking? Something happened? Something it broke? Huh. Hmm. Something got broke since yesterday. Okay, well, uh, they should all be turning off at the same time. And uh, they were. Now just this guy's on. Not this guy. <sighs> Sometimes I hate this stuff. But I'll figure that out. Uh, but if you haven't used one of these signal terminals, um, it's kind of wireless. It's kind of not. Uh, you can only go from like 10 blocks from here. It has to connect to the, uh, the signal bus. And that signal bus then, like, it will carry to... I can then connect this one to that one, and then this one to that one. I'm not sure. I think I might have crashed yesterday. Maybe it, it reverted it back before I fixed that or something, but that's not right, because I got items in my, my hand that uh, definitely... Uh, let me see. Let's fix this real quick. But we're doing plenty of mana now. Uh, I'll probably eventually add one more. Okay, this guy's connected. Why? Why you no worky? I'll just replace that real quick. 
damn it. Come on. Yeah, click that one. Really? Not gonna do it, huh? Sometimes I hate one. <laughs> Alright, click. And come over here and click. Why is it not dropping wire? Alright, come on, fly. That one's still running. That one's still running. That's weird. <sighs> okay, well, I'll, I'll have to figure that out later. I'm not sure what's what's causing that. Uh, like I said, it, it it was working yesterday, and it should be working now. Not sure why it's still running. Is that one running now? That one's running now. That one's running now. That's bizarre. But we also added in our. Uh, I took the uh, the lower performing uh, hydro ranges out and uh, moved them over here, and now they're feeding into a tree farm. Uh, what this does is it's got uh, 12 of the uh, uh, Elven Mana Spreaders. And then on six of them, there are these boar lenses. Uh, can I get close enough to see the uh, boar lenses? Okay, stop. Going so we've got six of the boar lenses. So this one shoots over into this one over here, which is then aimed up into the next one. So it kind of does this back and forth pattern. And with only six of them, it covers the entire uh thing since it's firing back and forth and as soon as a tree grows it uh, is cut down by the uh, bore lenses or beams with the bore lenses on it and then these little suckers the uh carpus uh what they'll do is they'll pick up anything that's dropped on it which in, in this case are the saplings and it will plant uh on the ground here since underneath this flower not this block but the one beneath that block is more of this uh, fertilized dirt so it's telling this flower to replant what's dropped on it onto that block which is the fertilized dirt so that goes right in there and then it's all picked up by the uh, chest over here and then converted over into uh, emeralds when it gets enough so it's not super fast, but it is an extra source of EMC. Uh, we're turning all that wood into uh, to emeralds. We're trying to just keep it as high as is reasonable for, for that so we can just get that EMC value and then put it into the, uh, the uh, transmutation table over there so we can get the, that EMC. Um, now, another thing I have been trying to start to figure out is... Um, this thing right here which is the um uh central the central craft yeah central craft three and uh, this is another magic sort of based mod um kind of like uh maybe a combination of uh thawcraft maybe a little batania um uh, it's it is uh, <laughs> crafting heavy. Uh, everything in here takes multiple uh, crafts to make. Like this craft takes this craft, that that's a craft, that's a craft, that's a craft, that's a craft. So, you know, in this one block, there are, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six different combines prior to making this combine. And this item uh, is for... A storage unit which we need to make before uh, I, I see no no reason to go any further in this mod until I have a storage a way to store or store the uh, the magical energy so uh, just to make this it's going to require uh, a lot of blocks to make it but then it's going to require um, the enrichment chamber controller uh, an acceptor that's how we're going to get power into it, and then an ejector, which is how we're going to get power out of it. So, you know, just out of that, uh, for that one thing, it's going to require a lot of combines. Um, I have, I think the, uh, 
I, I've got the enrichment chamber so far. <laughs> That's about it. And I'm working on making the uh, the other stuff. Now, to get started with this thing, uh, these are kind of the first three machines you're going to need to make. But the first thing you have to make is a soul stone. Um, because this is going to be your initial energy, more than likely, uh, on how you get started. You're going to make this soul stone. And then you're going to slap it in this matrix destructor. That is kind of, it pulls your energy, which is the UBMRU energy. And it will convert it over to an MRU energy, which is what these machines uh, make. Or these blocks, not machines. I, I'm not really sure what you want to call them. Magical machines. And you're going to need both of these to make the items to uh, to can continue further. So what I need to do right now is uh, finish up getting everything together for that uh, storage chamber. And when I do, we're going to move a node, a uh, U-B-M-R-U-C-F-G-H-I-J-K-L-P node. I, <laughs> the acronyms on this thing are so freaking long. We're going to move one of those over here, and we're going to create a storage chamber. So it's probably going to take me a while. It's taking a while to, to kind of craft all this stuff. Even with this uh, crafting table, it takes a little bit. So as soon as I do that, we'll be back and hopefully get that constructed. So be back in just a second. All right. This mod is uh, extreme, to say the least. It is... Uh, a lot a lot of crafting a lot a lot of crafting involved in this you know there's a lot of neat stuff in here um of course we're not going to go over all of it but it is to say the least there there's a lot of little sub combines to make everything uh the the at least the good thing is is some of the stuff um actually has an emc value so we can make it once and then pull it back um now i've been having i have i've been having uh some problems with the this mod and the transmutation table um that's why i put the uh, tablet up there when i mess with it a lot of times i'll come over here and click on this thing and if i click on it with the book in my uh inventory it kind of screws up and it also causes a little bit of problem with the easy crafting table a lot of times if i have items from that mod in here this thing just kind of freaks out never finds anything that it can actually make so just be aware of that uh it's it's just a it, I, I, maybe they're just fighting with each other i don't i'm not really sure but i did manage to put together uh, our storage unit so that's uh eventually i'm gonna have to build a uh building for this thing or or some sort of uh dedicated e or um uh, essential craft structure because i don't like it just sitting out here i mean it's completely out of place uh with uh, everything else we built so i may put it underground or uh or something but this is uh your storage unit it is this is the smallest size right here which is a five by five by five and uh it can be made uh, if you look in the book it can be made from a bunch of different blocks um i think the higher level material you use the uh, better off you are so i think this one's under mru uh, you need the mru mrucu enrichment chamber man this thing is annoying and that screeching sound kind of gets old uh you get the MRUCU enrichment chamber has to be part of it. Um, that's kind of the control block. And then you have the acceptor. Um, that's this little item right here. And that allows the mana, uh, I'm sorry, MRU that, that is generated here to uh, go into the storage unit. You can see your uh, MRU if you have either a monocle or... Um, or this little handy wand in your uh, inventory you can kind of see it going from there to there and then the uh, last block you have to have on there is the enrichment chamber ejector that's what sends it over to uh, our machines over here and uh, our machines over here are at the max distance which is 16 blocks from here i suppose i could just move it over 
like right here and actually uh, it'd be a little bit closer but uh, with just this setup right here we can only send out MRU 16 blocks from the uh, storage unit so we've got that in there and if you notice like inside you can see that little glowy thing that's the, what's making all the noise and uh, I had to pull that this wand if you uh, I'm not gonna do it too much uh, in fact I'm not gonna do it at all but if I if I were to target that or kind of point at it and then right click it would pull it towards me and then with you've got to use this uh, moving one if I uh, right clicked it and just held it would pull it towards me and then if I shift and right click it pushes it away from me so I had to pull that uh, from all the way over here this is where the uh, that's what this this square stone thing was is there was a note over here um, I have not found another one but uh, I pulled that one all the way over here. It took me a while. That was kind of a pain in the ass. I tried to see if I could snag it with a lasso, but alas, uh, that did not work. So I actually had to manually pull it all the way over here, um, which is no big deal. I mean, it didn't take that long. And uh, with the Project E uh, repair talisman, it didn't wear out. Uh, when you use this, it does take some durability, but uh, the repair talisman does uh, fix this, so we don't have to... Uh, worry about that too much now for MRU right now generating MRU that goes into oh, 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 oh one thing one other block that I added is this enrichment chamber holding block by default a uh, 5 by 5 by 5 holds uh, only 60,000 MRU uh, this one block when you add it uh, adds an extra 100,000 so this one now holds a, a uh, 160,000 instead of just 60,000 uh, and you can add multiple of those in there. So we, you know, if you need a whole ton, uh, we may be able to add more of those later. And unfortunately, none of these have a, uh, a EMC value, so you have to make them by hand, uh, which is a real pain in the butt. But what we're using right now is an, a um, heat generator, and you have to burn something in here. This one, you can see it's surrounded by lava. And uh, you, uh, if you look at the book, it has to the lava has to basically be two blocks away, the source block, and then it will flow in and generate uh, MRU. But you have to put something in there to burn. I'm just using charcoal. I don't know if there's it matters what you put in there or not. Uh, charcoal seems to work pretty well. And I'm getting this magical slag as a kind of byproduct. Uh, it is used in some recipes that we'll probably get into later. But for right now, uh, heat generator, lava, that thing, um, our little bound gem, uh, you right click this and then put it inside here. And that links the, uh, the heat generator to the acceptor and then it'll store the power. So you can see like right now we're at a 160,000 MRU and if uh, we need it. Oop. If we need it, uh, we can just go over here. Oop. Get up here. If I can get up here. If I can fly. If I can fly. Uh, and right now, this is all we have is the uh, magician table and rating chamber. You're going to spend a lot of time in these, so get used to them. And it seems to, uh, every second or tick or whatever you stand next to this thing, you get a uh, MRU corruption uh debuff which i don't know if it's hurt me or not because i have this bobble that says also negates corruption effects so even though i see the sparkles and everything i don't uh, notice like anything happening to me it doesn't change my hearts or anything so just be aware that about six blocks away from that or less than six blocks inside of six blocks you'll you'll get that corruption and it it stacks so if you just Throw your items in there and back away real quick. Uh, you'll get all, you'll only get about ten seconds of that corruption. But yep, yeah, we're uh, we're we're started. We have uh, MRU generation. Of course, there's better, higher tier levels. I just got the uh, starter level. Um, I know there's like an Enderman MRU generator, uh, which we could do because it, we can we can make uh, an Enderman spawner real easy. And there's. Uh, there's some other stuff, but I'm, I'm probably going to go towards the Enderman one just because, uh, you know, it's not like a fuel source 
that we need to create to, to fill it up. It, it would just need to spawn Enderman, which we can do. And it's like 20,000, according to the book, like, um, I think it's like 20,000 something. Let's go engineering. Is it engineering? Yeah, Ender Generator. And uh, 500 MRU per hit. So one Enderman gives you around 20,000 MRU. So that's not bad. So we may make one of those uh, slap a spawner in there and uh, see how that goes. Because if, if we look in here now, there's just tons of stuff that uh, you can make in this mod. And of course we need to get into uh, making crystals to go any further. So that's going to require some stuff. Yeah, You see what I mean? There's just tons of these... Uh, Tons of items in here. We got a smeltery. We've got a monster duplicator, magical repairer, uh, Tesla coils. Now this one looks kind of neat. This is a uh, maybe a nuclear reactor type uh, MRU thing, I think, something like that. Um, magical quarry, uh, enchanter, potion spreader, holding device, jukebox. And then, of course, there is the uh, Hoana Age. Hoana. So we have to get there. Trapped Wind. Oh, man, i got to find these mages. <laughs> Great. I haven't even seen a single one of those yet. Uh, so, yeah, there, there's quite a bit to do in this mod yet. And, of course, everything takes, uh, you know, 14 hours of crafting. Uh, so that uh, will be a while. But the nice thing is we, we're getting plenty of EMC now. Uh, oh, I almost did it. I almost clicked on that damn thing. Uh, you can see now we've got like 38 million in there already. Uh, this thing is pumping it out right now. Uh, we got a full stack in here. Uh, and a quarter stack. So, yeah. I mean, you can see with three of these things running, it's just dumping cobblestone in there real, real fast. So we'll start being able to progress a lot further and with project e uh well yeah, not too long not too long uh so that's it for this one we've got our start going with essential craft we've got uh some power generation which is adequate for right now we've got our power storage and we have our beginning blocks so now we can kind of start really getting into it because uh which is what little power i had in my soul stone uh, it's already down to uh, 9,500, so it was uh, it would it it takes five or uh, 50,000 uh, UB MRU I think to make uh, it's like five to or ten to one or something like that. It's 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 five thousand to make 500. So yeah, it uh, it it and everything seems to take like about five thousand. So you need a lot of uh, uh, MRU to, to make something, but uh, since I've done this, I did a couple of uh, combines after this, and it's much, much quicker than the uh, Soul Stone setup, and everything in there right now is linked up to the uh, the storage chamber over there. But I just need to make some, figure out if I'm going to leave it the air or what I'm going to do with this thing. I don't think I like it sitting out there, but uh, we'll see. So that's going to be it. Appreciate you guys coming by. I uh, hope that helped out somebody who's trying to figure out how to get started with this thing. Uh, the book is a real help, uh, but, it, you know, you really got to kind of read very carefully through it and make sure uh, you, you understand what it's saying. So, guys, until next time, I will see y'all later.